Welcome back guys. So we are out by the coast hiking, trying to find a really cool spot for some surf fishing and stuff. So we have about four and a half kilometers to go. First we need to get over a small mountain and then we should be there. So let's have fun. So I think I found the Boy Scouts. There were some assembling at the parking area by the school of this island. And they were going somewhere camping. So I guess this is it. Really flat down there, really nice. So I might even take my children here camping because it's so close. Anyway, time to hike on. Welcome back guys. So we have made camp and we got the cooler, the fishing rod, some cold there to dry. It took quite a while to walk in here. I was not sure how far I would walk but this is where we ended up. A nice sandy spot. So we got the hoop bivy. Just got the rain cup on the back bivy. There, so if I can find the opening on it, see the setup. So that's my rig a lightweight summer sleeping bag, small pillow, X pad swim mat, and then underneath all of this, if you can see it here, I've got a wilderness mat just for extra. Extra protection, so I got a Robin's chair as well. We will see if we will do some fishing tonight. It is now 9 pm. It doesn't really get dark here, but if the wind dies down a bit more, I might, I might try over there to do some fishing. It's quite, um, it's quite a challenging terrain, and that out there is just the ocean. So there is nothing further out there. This is the, <laughs> as far out as you get here on the Norwegian coast, west coast. So anyway, I'm going to relax and then maybe do some fishing. We will see, maybe tomorrow, depends on the weather. Out here, it changes super fast. If 
it goes from sunny to foggy to sunny to rainy to yeah it changes real fast anyway there's a bird say hi to the birds hello guys so it's time to time to go to bed it's around 11 p.m and i am in the bivy so as you see it is not the biggest sleeping arrangement in the world but it's it's okay for one person right <laughs> so here it's the view out of course it's not going to really get dark at all it might get dark for a couple of hours in the middle of the night but how it is now here it doesn't really get dark so uh, you kind of need these eyebrows in, in addition to this one uh, giving you some cover so putting them on makes things dark and them being kind of rigid keeps them out of your eyeball at night which is nice uh, most of them they just poke you in the eyeball and that's not really comfortable <laughs> but these ones are quite good they are the as you can see the brand here I can find it for you they are go brand i don't know i think i could find them on amazon as well so anyway see you all in the morning guys good night good morning so uh, It is seven in the morning. <sighs> and we had a pretty good sleep. I woke up a few times because I had some really strange dreams. I was camping here. And then like World War II broke out and I was like escaping, but I was also working in a factory and then I was driving with my grandparents, and then I had forgotten my bivy, and I had to go back, and some other people were camping. And then I had to go back to the factory. I, I haven't... <laughs> it was a really, really strange dream. Anyway, maybe prophecy. So, there is... I don't feel any condensation around my head area, because there is a vent up there. And then I had a small opening there and the bivy, but that's it. But the fabric, I feel, is really breathable because it was quite windy yesterday evening. And I could feel the wind going through the fabric, so I'm pretty impressed. Um, I will check, check the foot end of the bivy now when I get out of this human larva tube. But first, let's open up the door and see how how it looks like well, that's a great view to wake up to <laughs> it's much nicer than I thought it would be today it said it would be cloudy but it's it's clearer than yesterday and it's quite it's quite sunny too there are some flying, flying creatures around my baby here, but yesterday there was really nothing, no mosquitoes, no, no anything, so that was great, and it was quite quiet, the only thing was some birds and, and the waves hitting the, the rock face over here. So now... Maybe I will head down there and do a bit of fishing. That seemed like the easiest spot there is. Of course, I can go out there all the way to the to the edge, but it was uh, alone. I'm not sure if I want to do that, because if I fall off there, then it's game over, right? <laughs> Over here, it was a little bit easier to get to a spot where I can throw without accidentally killing myself. So, anyway... 
I will try to crawl out and make some make some breakfast and then might do some fishing before I head home. It's breakfast time and it's a really really great morning. It was supposed to be cloudy but out here where I'm at it doesn't seem like the weather forecast is very accurate compared to you know further in on the island. We are on an island had to go across a few bridges to get out here And it took us quite a while to hike out as well, the four and a half kilometers it took from the parking area. But this spot right here it can fit quite a few tents. So I might come back. Looks like a great, great place when it's warm and sunny. It's also a popular spot to go during the autumn when the storms are hitting to watch the waves come in. There is a small cabin, you can call it, all the way down by the water, a few kilometers back on the way in, which can rent. Now it's closed due to this pandemic going on, but you can rent that and then you are all the way down by the water and you can stay there and watch the waves from the ocean and such. That should be really cool. Anyway. Need to cook breakfast and coffee now. So it's time to leave. I caught three decent sized fish, but as my my cool is no longer cold, I'm not really gonna hike them out now, am I? So it was a bit of catch and release for these ones. But I do plan to come here with a cooler full of ice and do a day of fishing. That would be great. Take my big cooler out here and fill it completely up because it's literally biting on almost every single cast I do, so that's pretty awesome. It's not really suited for surf fishing right here, because it's so much um, to snag in, but I brought a few spoons as well, so I just threw them with my surf, surf rod, and that seemed to work, so spinning off of these rocks here seems to be the way to go. Anyway. It's been a great, a great time here, and it is time to hike back. Expecting to use about one and a half hours hiking back to the car, and then a little bit more than an hour driving back home. So, we got everything packed up. And now we're hiking back in. So today is a beautiful day. A real, a real sunny day. It is really warm <laughs> and real sunny, but gotta push on because 
go pick up the oldest one in kindergarten. So, thanks for watching and have a good one.